These past five months have been all about a uh, transition to this new life. It's uh, getting the logistics right so that we can really focus right now on the real work. For me today, um, it's like Christmas. You know, you've pre been preparing from the 1st to the 24th of December. And then the 25th happened, if, you've, if you're a kid, you're just so happy and excited to see all the gifts you're receiving. And if you're a, a parent or a family member, you've been preparing for everything to get right, the logistics, and you're just able to savor every moment of the 25th of December. So we only started basic training one month ago, uh, but still it was very intense and we started having some lectures uh, so that we get more familiar with this in new environment we're working in. So lectures about ESA programs, European um, programs and European missions, space missions. And uh, we also had biology lectures, uh, theoretical as well as biology practicals. We also had some briefings about um, the use of the pool, which is the neutral buoyancy facility where we will we'll be training for, for our EVAs. And it's very fascinating for me. Well, I really love learning. I love challenging myself both physically and mentally. So I'm equally happy of every opportunity to learn new skills, both uh, soft skills and hard skills. I'm of course, with my background as a pilot, I love operational um, stuff. I also love going outside of my comfort zone so that I can learn new skills. And I think this year, when we'll be doing our survival training, when we will be uh, learning EVA skills, we will clearly be pushed outside of, uh, outside of our comfort zone. And, and I'm, I feel very happy about that. So we are already very bonded as a team and I really like um, the atmosphere uh, among us. I didn't really know them before, um, except for the announcement, but it was all very quick. And so now we get to know each other. We get to know as well um, how we interact. And, and I really love teamwork. And I, I like to say in terms of teamwork, uh, and it was the same in my helicopter cruise, there are very different individual talents, but we are here as a crew acting with collective wisdom. I feel very, very good, very happy to finally be here. Uh, it's been an interesting stage in my life. It, everything changed in, in Paris uh, suddenly from not having given any interview at all in my life. Uh, after 24 hours, I had given like, more than 20 and it didn't stop for the past five months. So it's quite a, a big change, but uh, well, learning from, from everything and, and enjoying it as much as I can. So uh, for the past month in basic training, we have been quite busy. Uh, if there's something about basic training, it, that it comprises loads of different subjects and you need to learn a lot about different things, but uh, that's also the, the good thing. There's no time to be bored at all and there's always something new to learn. Well, everything looks uh, amazing and, and I cannot wait to, to get it all, but I'm, I'm especially looking forward to get into the pool and, and start with the extravehicular activity training. It's uh, so great to work in such a well, great place to work. Uh, it's, uh, you see all the excellence that they put in and I think that really the European National Centre is a tiny beacon of of excellent, of European values and of international cooperation. So I'm really happy to be part of it. And uh, all the astronauts, uh, well, I think we are bonding quite well, the new class and the previous class, and uh, we are getting loads of advice from them, which will prove very useful in the future. The past five months have completely flown by, to be honest. It's hard to believe that since November, we've changed jobs, changed countries, I've said goodbye to colleagues and friends in Paris, but I'm so excited to be here. I'm thrilled to finally be starting something that I've been imagining for such a long time. And you feel so welcomed into the big team here that I'm really looking forward to the next steps. So far in basic training, we've had an overview of all the different areas that ESA is involved in. 
We've started group exercise classes in the gym here and we've really delved into the science. So, for example, how the human body or living things generally are affected by changes in gravity or the radiation environment, which are really relevant for stays on the space station or exploring further beyond. And the trainers really make the, the material accessible for us. We're just a few metres from the labs where scientists are actually analysing the results of experiments that have gone to space. And being able to see that really brought the whole thing to life. For the practical side of basic training, I'm really looking forward to starting our underwater training in the neutral buoyancy facility, starting to simulate for the first time what it might feel like to be interacting with or living on the space station and also the medical training. For example, learning how to take blood samples, which could be relevant for experiments on the space station, but also for monitoring each other's health. But I'm also really interested in the non-practical side of things, the softer skills. For example, the human interaction and communications training we'll be doing, the behavior of people, which is a really important thing to understand if you want to live and work together successfully in such a closed environment for significant periods of time. From the moment we walked through the door, I think we all felt this huge sense of being welcomed into a brand new team, a brand new environment. And in terms of my astronaut candidate colleagues, we felt a really immediate bond, I think, having been through the selection process together and also knowing that we're all going to face exactly the same challenges over the next few months in basic training. But we're also being really well supported by the 2009 class of ESA astronauts and their previous generations. And they have so much experience and advice that they can share with us. And that I think is really useful to set our expectations for what we can expect on what is a completely brand new adventure. The last five months have been pretty intense and super exciting, I must say. So I still had three months where I was in between two worlds, I would say. I was working as a neuroscientist. I had to complete my projects. And then uh, this transition started towards this new life of becoming an astronaut. And it has now been one month that we are at the Astronaut Center here. I'm feeling really happy and excited to be here in the training. It's only be a few weeks that we have uh, started this. We have started to meet with the different teams and it's super exciting. We see all these teams working together to help us train and eventually get our uh, certification in one year. It's, no, it's super nice. So the first month was essentially devoted to arriving here, having everything installed and the first lessons that we were all expecting were uh, theoretical lessons, I would say, more about uh, biology, because in the first month we will be all together and in the next month we will have more uh, individual uh, sessions. So the first months are essentially theoretical courses, discovering ESA, discovering EAC and more precisely about the courses biology that we had until now. Until now we had a lot of theoretical classes, a few uh, hands-on as well, but I'm really looking forward to uh, the sessions, to practical sessions where we, we will put into practice what we have learned. We recently had an introduction to the neutral buoyancy facility and that will lead us to the EVA certification, so uh, training in to, to do these uh, extravehicular activities that we all see and that we all uh, dream about. And uh, yes, I'm looking forward to that, uh, to that part that is going to come in the next month. The team has been great here. Uh, we are really getting along super well together, uh, taking the time also outside of work to spend time together, to have a drink, to have dinner, etc. So no, it's really great to feel all this enthusiasm coming from, uh, from everyone. And uh, we look, I think we all share the enthusiasm towards uh, this endeavor for the next uh, year. So yeah, as you can imagine, it was quite a roller coaster. So a lot changed. Um, there was um, yeah, basically a whole new career um, in front of me, and it was actually quite exci exciting and feeling like a big adventure that starts now. So first, I could still do my work as usual, but of course there were many interviews coming at me, which meant uh, a lot of fun, but also a lot of work, um, and then it got a bit quieter and I could prepare well for this basic training to begin. The first week of basic training was 
basically a lot um, of getting to know people, getting to know the location, ESA as an organization, so a lot of introductory lessons, also getting introduced to the IT stuff, of course, and HR topics, etc. Then we had a lot of biology and um, physics lesson, which was really interesting, and I was also quite uh, astonished how deep they, they dig into the field. That's uh, really impressive and really interesting. And we also had a lot of practical lessons in the labs, and of course also sports to get fit for spaceflight. I'm really looking forward to the whole basic training and also what comes afterwards, but I think like everyone else in our class, we're looking very forward to the practical lessons. So be it in, in the lab doing practical, practical exercises, also the EVA training in the pool, and then also, of course, uh, robotics training, survival training. Uh, these are all really interesting things and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I think we have a very good team spirit, so we get to know each other already quite well and uh, they're all really cheerful people, very motivated, very interested. And um, yeah, it's just a good, a very good vibe here on, at EAC, not only with uh, my direct colleagues, but also with all the instructors and uh, the team around EAC. So it's a very, very good atmosphere.